Cadets from 1474 Wickford Squadron in Essex practicing their parade skills. They're led by former cadet and reservist Ashley Harvey, who inspects their uniforms before the evening's events begin. As well as learning life skills and military drills, these cadets and leaders like Ashley can get vocational qualifications to help with their future careers. That's done through the charity CVQO, the Cadet Vocational Qualification Organisation, which helps uniformed groups study for qualifications such as BTECs and City and Guilds. 22-year-old Ashley became a cadet at the age of 15 without really knowing what she was getting into. It was a whole new world. I have no family in the military. I have no family in any sort of flying whatsoever. It was just a load of people in weird uniform swinging their arms around. I didn't really get it, if I'm honest. Um, but seven years later, here I am, and I'm so glad I stayed and stuck at it because the opportunities I've had have been absolutely endless. Tonight, there's a lesson in camouflage. Ashley spends two nights a week training her cadets, but her day job is at a bank where she's a senior project manager. Through CVQO, she now has a qualification in leadership and management, which she credits to the skills she's learned with the Air Training Corps. I've gone and done a month in Africa and Ghana um, on an international air cadet exchange. I've been to Germany, up to Edinburgh, down to Cornwall. Um, I've got my first aid qualification. I've been involved in a band. I've done hockey representing the country. You name it, there's so many opportunities that I've done that I, I would just never have done without the ATC. Recently, Ashley was awarded her qualification at Sandhurst Military Academy in front of a prestigious group of guests. To come to the, the headquarters of the army base at, at Sandhurst is absolutely a huge privilege. But I'm really also hoping that I inspire um, other leaders and other cadets to go ahead and take their qualification award because it's a fantastic qualification, a fantastic organisation and I would encourage anybody to get involved if they could. Cadets are uh, an integral part of uh, their communities but they bring the armed forces to the communities and um, although they're not actually part of the armed forces, they represent the armed forces brilliantly. So what about the cadets themselves? What do they think of it all? My confidence has skyrocketed. If you took me before I joined cadets and said, speak in front of a crowd, I'd be standing there like shaking, looking down at this piece of paper. But now I can talk well, to the camera or in front of a group of cadets, I can talk to anyone. For those who stick with it, there's an opportunity to develop, get qualifications and have a bit of a laugh at the same time.